What is going on guys? It's your boy Justin from the J Media and I'm back with another video. So today from the title of this video, you will know I'll be showing you guys on how to data log. So I'll be data logging my 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT uh, through Evo Scan using a Tectrix 2.0 cable. So I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, but essentially what data logging is, is because I'm trying to get tuned. So um, I'm trying to, sh you know, send the different maps to my tuner so he can know how my car is running. Uh, typically, if you work with a tuner that's with you, you know, it, it can do pulls on a dyno, stuff like that. Um, but since my tuner is not here, uh, he's actually out of state. He's one of the best, so I went to him. He's out of state, so we're doing it through email. So he's giving me instructions, and basically I'm data logging. But uh, <coughs> uh, what I'm trying to do here is I do need a few logs. So I do need to take uh, two clips of one minute at idle. And then I also do need to take two one minute logs while cruising at a consistent speed. Um, two data logs accelerating normally from a stop through fourth gear. And then three data logs at full throttle, meaning, you know, pretty much full throttle all the way to red line. So I'm going to start my data log at 2000 RPM and then slowly up to red line. Uh, so I have to label each one and send them back to my tuner so he knows how my car is running, if it's running rich or lean or is it healthy and all that stuff. So the two things I have with me is my Tectrix cable 2.0 as well as my laptop. So I'm going to open up my laptop and get to Evo Scan. Alright, so now that my laptop is started, I can go ahead and connect this Tectrix cable. So it's going to go down here. And have it connected here to my laptop. And once it's connected, I'm gonna go ahead and open my Evo Scan software. So that's a software you can get uh, for twenty-five dollars. You could purchase. So, so here's Evo Scan. Few things you gotta do uh, beforehand. So make sure. This is open port 2.0 since that is what I was using for my Tectrix cable. And then make sure CAN 2006 Plus Evo X is selected. So I already did that. And then under logging, make sure that on the bottom here, by default, I think it's selected metric units. I'm switching to Imperial units since I'm here in the United States. I want my readings in miles per hour. So once that is done, the last step to do is on here, if you select this drop down and select ECU, this is where you have to get it from your tuner. Uh, I got this file, rarely inspired any Lancer Evo X from my tuner, so I'll select that. Um, but yeah, some of them, there are so many different ones. So I'm going to select that since my tuner told me to do that. So yeah, once that is done here, um, pretty much I can start data logging. So I'm going to do the data log for the idle first. Alright, so I'm going to click start data log. Now I'm going to turn on the car. So right now as you can tell, it is data logging. So you'll see stop data log. So I'll give it a minute to data log. So that's something you have to track. So right now the time is 9.49 a.m. I give it to 9.50 a.m. So all you're really doing while it's doing the idle is just let it run. So that's at idle right now. Alright, so I'm done with both of my data logs at idle. So I'm going to go to my documents here. I'm going to rename my data logs so that my tuner knows what they are. So go to documents, under Evo Scan V2.9, double click on that, uh, and then it will be under save data logs. So as you can tell, there are two logs here, so I'm going to rename them. Uh, let's see here, so rename, so I can just put idle, and then for the second one, it is IDO again, so I'm going to rename it IDO2. Yeah, 
yeah so pretty much as simple as that I already name it idle 1 idle 2 uh, these two sample logs I, I guess I can go ahead and delete them um, I'll just leave them there for now but yeah I'm gonna send the logs to my tuner um, I'm gonna go ahead and drive again it's kind of hard to drive and film when I data lock at the same time so what I'm trying to do is next one's gonna be two data locks at cruising speed I'll see what I can do to film for you guys all right so right now I'm just cruising on the highway I'm gonna data lock because I'm cruising at a consistent speed I'm probably gonna be doing like uh, 50 60 miles an hour consistent so I'm gonna start the data lock here so I'm gonna to click on that so right now I start data logging so I'm just gonna time myself for one minute so right now I'm off the highway I'm gonna be data logging again since I need two at cruising speeds so this one I'm probably gonna be doing about 40 miles an hour which is the speed limit and get to data logging all right so right now that I'm done with my second set of data logs uh, which includes cruising I'm gonna go back to documents and rename them so as you can tell they pop up right here so I'm gonna go ahead and rename these two cruising one cruising two all right so I got the easy stuff out the way so the two idle logs at one minute as well as the two cruising logs right now I'm gonna do two more logs that include first gear to fourth gear uh, at cruising so I'm not gonna redline it yet uh, that's for later so I'm just gonna drive first to fourth gear probably shift right around like 2,000 2,500 rpm since it's just cruising uh, yeah I'll find somewhere to stop light do that uh, record it twice and rename it and then we'll go on to the last one which is wide open throttle which means first first to fourth gear pull but I'm gonna all the way to red line I'll probably need some space for that so if you guys are doing data logging for your especially your wide open throttles make sure roads are pretty empty and stay safe all right so going down my list so I just completed a two data logs at cruising speed first to fourth gear um, just accelerating normally so I tried to keep it as I mean like I said 40 miles an hour so I was pretty much shifting at right around like 2500 almost 3000 rpm uh, and then now I gotta take three data logs at uh, full throttle which means um, I'm gonna start data log at 2000 rpm and then I'll log it until red line so first the fourth gear wide open throttle I do have to find some space for that so probably hit the highways again So pretty much just got home from doing my data log. Let me show you guys what I have. So uh, it was kind of hard to record and press data log and drive at the same time. So basically on here it does say first to third wide open throttle, first to fourth cruising, first to fourth cruising, first to fourth wide open throttle. I did that four times. Uh, second gear wide open throttle, third gear wide open throttle, fourth gear wide open throttle. And again, WOT wide open throttle means um, basically from 2000 rpm and stepping on the gas flooring it all the way to red line uh, and then cruising one cruising two and then at idle so cruising and idle I did one minute each but for the wide open throttle it's not going to take that long so yeah uh, as many maps as you can so your tuner has a really accurate reading of how your car is uh, you know handling so if I just double click on one of them uh, again, I'm not a tuner. I have no idea how to read all these numbers. So, yeah, pretty much I will be sending that to my tuner. Uh, again, if you guys didn't catch the previous few videos, I did do a video on how to use the ECU flash program. Um, you know, how to use Tectrix cable, all that stuff. So make sure to check out all those videos first. Um, now that I've already, you know, put the ROM data log, I'm going to send it to my tuner who is uh, really inspired. And they're gonna be, you know, uh, helping me tune and improve the car. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned. So leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.